Hi guys, this is a review about a mini spot builder that I just bought from eBay. It took uh, two weeks to get into New Zealand and it is uh, about $75. Um, I could not find this on Trade Me or any store in New Zealand. So I uh, decided to buy it from eBay, but I had to wait two weeks. Um, for this one, the uh, it's got the the brain is much wilder pro. As you can see, it's got um, five uh, five thousand milliamps and the current is 650 amps this is the um, charge input which is the USB type C that's good then because um, I don't want uh, the USB the previous USB uh, like the micro USB anymore this that mean I can charge the same uh, cable that I use with my phones, which um, it's got um, USB Type A, two point one amps. As a power bank, it's got another function used as a power bank, and this is for um, the pen we got two pen and one USB uh, what I got in from in the box I got um, two pens the machine the cable and and the nickel uh, strip which is 0 0.1 millimeters and I got um, I gonna do the uh, performance test for this wheel uh, uh, spot wielders the beginning I want to soldering 186 file but um, I um, I found out that it's caused the battery hot um, and it's add up to the top of the battery uh, make it um, uh, two ticks so I decided to get one of the um, sport wielders um, so it's allow like uh, me to connect two battery with a uh, minimal add up on top of the battery let's turn on the uh, mini sport wielder hold it to turn it on and single clicks to uh, uh, it's like the wielding power uh, this is for the uh, first second third four and uh, fifth which is the maximum power um, I Let's try uh, to use the 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 first the uh, uh, the first one to show you. Just connect the pen into uh, this the flux. Doesn't matter. You connect which one into which hole. It's still. Uh, works the same so this is the uh, uh, level one powers just yep so look on this one yep. hold the pens for level one I feel for level one it's not strong enough if I just uh, it's not 
strong. It's just not usable. Let try level two. So I change it to level two, and then redo it. For level 2, if we pull it, it will come out. It does uh, um, connect it, but it's not good enough. So, change it to level 3. This is level 3, and do it again. This is level 3. Level 3 is good. It's really good. I recommend to use at least level 3 for this mini spot wielders to make sure that um, it, um, the nickel strip is connected properly. Let's try level 4. This is level 4. Level 4. Seem like it doesn't connect well. Try it again. Yeah, level 4 is, is similar to level 3, it's, it's better than level 3. And now try level 5. This is level 5. Yeah. Level 5 is quite strong. No, um, but we still can uh, um, uh, pull it out even at level 5. But it, I think it's, it's more than enough with level 3. At least I recommend to use level 3. Uh, just uh, depend on your strip thickness. Um, at least level 3. I try another one. Just there's another way uh, to connect two strips together. I want to know how you, and then use level 5 for that. Oh yes, this is power. Oh great! It leaves some mud on my table already. Um, yeah. Wow, this is strong. This is so strong. But I can, yeah. It's good in there. It's not too bad for this building machine. I think it's. It um, I think for seventy five New Zealand dollars, to do, um. To uh with the one eight six file, I think it's it's it worth the money to buy this one because um it's not expensive, it's not too expensive. So uh one uh the uh the last test is to wheel this one with level four, but I gonna do um. Uh, uh, three time on the strip, three wielding on the strip. This is level four only. Oh. 
one, two, three. As you can see, it does um, disconnect. Yep, I think this. Yeah, it's strong. Even this, and I had to use um, a lot of power to pull it out. Now I just finished a um, spot wheel 5 cell 18650. Let's check. Let's check the voltage using this. It should be 18 volt after we connect all of them in series. Let's see how it looks. Eighteen point eight volt. So it's mean all the battery are connected in series. And now, because I use sport wielders, there's no um, add up on top of the battery. So I can put back into the case easily. Like this. That's it. Um, 
unlike uh, solderings, it add up the battery and soldering cannot put inside back. Uh, the final thought about this, um, I, uh, what I like about this one, it is no need uh, external battery. Um, unlike uh, this one, uh, that need uh, a car battery to uh, uh, to do the sport building. For this one, it's built-in uh, battery, and it's small. It's portable. It's just easy, and it costs uh twice more expensive than this one. But I think it's a lot better than uh this one because uh it does have its own uh battery inside uh the machines for what uh i think they should uh, do this one better is to make the cable longer the cable pan is short um it can be done uh but i found it just a bit small uh short with the cable um it's, yeah it's a little bit short i i um but it can be done i do not have any big problem with this cable i just hope it can be lo a bit longer and for charging example um we plug it in like this one, this one I connect with the just the normal USB port. It pop up the red lights, so it is charging this one. But uh, the weird thing is that um, I use the Samsung chargers. Just wait a second until this one disappear. It will disappear after maybe uh, 10 seconds uh, after unplugs. Come on. Yep. So when I use my Samsung charger cable, and put it in it won't charge i don't know why the samsung um doesn't work maybe because of the uh, uh samsung charges it won't draw any power to charge any uh this one but if i use the normal uh usb uh power supplies it will charge um, like I already showed you so uh, if I connect this one back see it will charge so just to remember um, if it doesn't work if the if your uh, if charging doesn't work try to uh, find another source of power supply to charge uh, thank you so much.